Gregor, we've been in Chile for a couple of days now. How are you finding Santiago? Yeah, it's, it's great. We've not seen much more than the, the hotel and the training fields. Uh, but it's a great backdrop um, with the Andes uh, and the mountains around us. And the sun came out today. So, yeah, well, the guys have been working hard the last two days. It's our first A fixture in a while. How beneficial are these matches? Well, hugely beneficial. I think for, for the, the tour ahead, we, we're getting an opportunity to to have an extra game, see players that, that are going to challenge for a, a test start, but also players that might not be involved in the test series. So that's a bonus. We're playing an international side that have won already this season against Russia, Canada. They play America the following week for a place in the World Cup. So they'll be a, a massive challenge for us. Um, and just getting an, getting an extra game, just to see players that are desperate to play for Scotland uh, in any form. and. For some, that's his first time outside of age group rugby that they've played for the national team. You've named Luke Crosby as your captain. What was the thinking behind that decision? Well, he, um, he epitomises what we want to see in a captain. Someone that leads by example. Someone who's very, very proud to play for Scotland. Um, but also someone that's got leadership experience. He's captained Edinburgh before. He was due to be captain for Scotland A against England A this time 12 months ago. But the game, unfortunately, wasn't able to be played. So. Yeah, we've, we've been delighted that Luke is back fit, played really well the last few weeks for Edinburgh, uh, was excellent on his debut um, back in no November against Tonga uh, and he's led really well this week. And Matt Curry, Ollie Smith and Ben Muncaster will start in a senior Scotland squad for the first time. What can we expect from those three? Well, we, we have high expectations of them to, to go out and deliver why, why they're here, which is to show their strengths, uh, to work really hard, integrate as quickly as possible with those guys around them, which, which they've done this week. Uh, and yeah, show, show, show us, um, show their teammates why, why they should be here, which they're already doing a training. You spoke about Chile, what can we expect from them? As you say, they've got a, a big game coming up against USA. They have, they've, they've got a lot of professional players. The South American um, Professional League, the Chilean team, which makes up most of the Chile national team, have done really well. They beat the Jaguares. They'll be in a, I'd imagine they've been in camp for, for a while, targeting not just our game, but the following week, which gets them into a World Cup if they win that game against USA. They're physical. Um, they're a team that will look to compete hard at the breakdown. They've got a big scrum, big pack, and they're confident. They're confident because they've been winning games. So, yeah, we, we're going to play a cohesive team. And we've got to adapt really quickly into to what they bring, uh, what's working for us and, and how we improve throughout the 80 minutes.